all-wise, all-knowing. And indeed, we created man from sounding clay of altered black smooth mud. Inna alhamdulillah, nahmadu wa nasta'in wa nasta'afiru. Naudu billahi min shururi anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina. Man yahdihi allahu fala mudilla lah, wa man yudlil fala hadiya lah. Ashadu an la ilaha illa allah wahdahu ila sharika lah. Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh. Ya ayuha alladhina amanu taqu allaha haqqa tuqatih. Wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimoon. يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها فإن كل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار وإنما توعدون لآت وما أنتم بمعجزين شوف لو تسمع في المزيد Praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he's the only one worthy of praise. I seek his help, his guidance and his forgiveness. I believe in him and I trust him. I seek refuge in Almighty Allah from the evil of our passions. Did whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides him to Islam, no one can mislead him after Allah. And whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put him astray, no one can guide him after Allah. I testify, O believers, that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah Rabbil Alameen, and I testify that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is his messenger and the seal of all the prophets. O Muslims, you must know that the best speech is the speech of Almighty Allah, which is the Quran. The best guidance is the course of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is his Sunnah. The words of all affairs is innovation and addition to the religion of Islam. Indeed, every addition to the religion of Islam will lead to hellfire. I adjure you as well as myself to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the best of your ability. Fear Allah and don't die unless you are in the state of Islam. I greet you all with the greeting of Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and the blessing of Almighty Allah be with you all. Uh, I'd like to apologize for the, the trouble that... Uh, cause us to delay the class uh, so basically uh, we have a problem with the internet we could not broadcast today and we could not broadcast today neither we can record so only to since we already here if we can spend up at least 10 15 minutes with each other talks about Allah, about the Messenger, about the Ramadan, inshallah. And as Sister Zawjit Abu Mumin had uh, requested before that we make sometimes general uh, questions. Yes, uh, I know you can uh, hear, uh, but uh, on adlyonline.com we could not broadcast, neither on newstream.com which is this is uh, where everybody can go and can get uh, to listen to the class. So the different, what we're doing now is only those who are in chatislam.com and those who are on Islam answer back can hear me. Other than this, that uh, those who are in Adli Online, because this is as a center station from any place you can log and you can listen and you can watch the lecture also by going to Ustream uh, the, you have the advantage of being able to record it so basically we're going to delay this for tomorrow we're going to open the floor for questions and answers comments correction anything because the last uh, three classes we've been going 
all the way until 8 o'clock and the result of this we did not have opportunity for people to ask questions. Uh, we were supposed to continue today with our uh, class concerning uh, the CM and basically with a new chapter for today. We were supposed to talk about We last thing that we talk about was uh, Siyam al tatawa optional fasting, and a quick uh, recap, we talk about the option voluntarily fasting, which is a fasting of Monday and Thursday. We know that the occasion about it, that in Monday, this is the day that the Prophet Sallallahu was born, and also the day that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala revealed to him. Another reason that the Prophet ﷺ had told us about the fasting of Monday and Thursday, that this is days which the deed are presented to Allah, and he loved to see his deed to be presented with a fasting in it. Also, we spoke about the optional fasting, that the fasting of the Prophet Dawood ﷺ, which he used to fast every other day. And this is the best kind of fasting. Also, we talk about voluntarily fasting, that you can fast the three days out of every month from the Islamic calendar, which you preferably to be the 13, 14, and the 15. Nevertheless, nevertheless that a person can fast any three days of the month will be acceptable and you will be rewarded for every day as if you are fast 10 days. So those people who do volunteer fasting uh, by fasting three days of every month, they will be considered as if they fast the whole year. Also from the optional fasting that the Prophet Sallallahu used to fast most of the month of Sha'ban and this is recommended and also the fasting of 60 days of Shawwal which is the month that comes immediately after Ramadan and the Prophet ﷺ had told us that whosoever observes the fasting of Ramadan and follow it by six days of Shawwal, he will be rewarded as if he fast the whole year. Of course, he could not fast the day of Eid because it's forbidden. But after the day of Eid, you can start your optional fasting. Also, the days of the ten, the ten days of the Hijjah, the last month in the Islamic calendar. The first 10 days, the reward uh, for the good deed is very, very uh, excellent reward. And the Prophet ﷺ is inviting us and recommended for us that we do a lot of good deed during this first 10 days. Uh, am I connected? those people who are on okay alhamdulillah oh, welcome brother Bashir I miss you for a while I didn't see you I hope everything is okay with you uh, so nevertheless that people are not supposed to fast the day of Eid so you only fast nine days and also the people who are in Hajj they are not supposed to fast the day of Arafah. The day of Arafah for the person who perform in Hajj is not supposed to be done. So that means it's recommended for you to do a lot of good deed in the first 10 days of the Hijjah. And if you want to observe the fasting, you can observe uh, up to the ninth days. The 10 days will be the Eid, you could not fast. Uh, 
this is uh, also recommended to fast uh, most of the month of Al Muharram. Al Muharram is the first month of the Islamic calendar. And the Prophet وسلم, used to fast a lot during this month. Also, Ashura, Ashura is the tenth of the of Al Muharram. It is recommended to be fast, and actually, before Ramadan became obligatory, Ashura was the obligatory fasting, and the Muslims he used to fast, and the Prophet وسلم, ordered them to fast, and. When Ramadan became obligatory, he told them that they don't have to do Ashura as obligatory anymore, but those who would like to continue in fasting, they can do so. Nevertheless, that the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, for those who would like to observe Ashura is to fast one day before or one day after, in addition to the 10th, and this to get you out of the imitation of the Jewish, okay? Because they celebrate also Ashura in fasting. Uh, we said about the optional fasting, a person who doing optional fasting, uh, there is two things we need to take it in consideration. A woman could not do a optional fasting while her husband is present. That means he is not traveling. Okay? So the right of the husband comes before any optional deed. Therefore, if a woman decides to observe a optional fasting and her husband is in town, she has to seek his approval or his permission first. The second issue we need to learn is that Al-Sa'im Al-Mutatawah Amiru Nafsi. That means he has the choice to continue in his fasting or to break his fast for whatever reason he wants. He or she, okay? If you do an optional fasting, you are the commander or the prince or the person that you can make this decision. As example, if somebody cook a meal or invite you or you decide you want to break the fast of that day, you have this choice, you are not obligated to make up another day. Today we were supposed to talk about Adab al-Siyam, the proper behavior of a person who is going to fast. We are going to talk about certain things like suhoor, and the virtues of suhoor, what you take in suhoor. Also about the time of suhoor and if there is anything called imsak, certain times that you have to stop fasting or not. What about a person who ate by accident, forgotten that he's fasting? Also a person that break his fast because he thought that sunset already but is not. Uh, what is the sunnah concerning the fasting and studying the Quran? It's very important subject inshallah. We're going to try to accommodate it tomorrow due to the fact that we could not broadcast to Adli online, neither to uh, Ustream. But for the time being, Alhamdulillah, we were able to talk to you for 13 minutes. We can take five or seven minutes more in case anybody have any question or comments or concern. Uh, this is your opportunity, inshallah. For those people who are in the chat, Islam, please go ahead and type. Okay, thank you, monitor. And those people who are on Islam, answer back. Please raise your hand so I can release the mic for you, inshallah. Thank you very much. Okay, for those who are in uh, Islam answer back room, please kindly. Uh, for some reason, it seems that the room uh, frozen on me. And 
therefore I'm not able to see your hand. So we're going to have to use the different, different methodology by typing, inshallah. Uh, question concerning is there a fasting for expiation, sin? Uh, I really don't understand what you mean by a fasting for expiation. Uh, thank you for your advice, be moment, but if I start to do anything about the uh, room or about the internet, things is going to be messed up. But I can try to do this later. Uh, expiation fast, as we understand, uh, the fast is a means of expiation for certain things, but for a specific things. Uh, Habib. Is it raining outside? Is it raining outside? No. So we can put it outside. Can you close the door, please? Uh, for as example, for a person who swears that is not going to do such a thing, and later on that he found something better to do, so he have to make expiation for this oath by feeding ten. Uh, poor people, or dressing them, or fasting three days. But it's not for every thing that you did wrong, there is expiation by fasting. Although fasting itself a means of expiation because the Prophet وسلم, says that Ramadan to Ramadan is expiation for your sins as long as you avoid the major sins. Jum'ah to Jum'ah, from one Salah to the other Salah, from one Friday prayer to the Friday prayer, from one Ramadan to one Ramadan, will be expiation for your sins. But like somebody, as example, say, I curse my cousin and I want to make expiation. Can I fast a day for this? Now, I don't have any authority to tell you about this one. So in general, I say yes, there is fasting for expiation of sins, but not specifically for certain things that Allah had mentioned about it. And Allah knows best. Okay. Farhad, may nine years old, my nine, nine, uh, my nine years old cousin, sister passed away on 17th of August. She got disease and she was... My question is in the hereafter, how will be her judging and will she be normal? Uh, for people who are abnormal or handicapped, uh, whatever the case that they are, uh, if they are mature or not mature, uh, they did not get to know about Islam or been handicapped, they could not practice, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will judge them in the day of judgment. As about being normal a person, of course, if the person, part of the people of Jannah, they all the people of Jannah will be very handsome, very beautiful, same tall, same, same beauty. They will be enjoying. There is no disease there. There is no bathroom. Uh, urge to use the bathroom. There is no illness, there is no fatigue, all the things that the Prophet ﷺ had told us about paradise. We are being tested here in this life for illness, sickness, calamity, and things like this. But if a person going to Jannah, 
they will be in the most perfect form uh, insha'Allah and they will be nothing except enjoyment we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send mercy in your uh, cousin as well as all the Muslims insha'Allah okay if anybody have a question let's see if chat Islam have anything uh, okay is there fasting okay delete your refrain okay is there any time for you is there anything we do for deceased on to benefit in this month uh, if the diseased person is not your father or your mother uh, the you can benefit them in this month or the month before or the month after by making dua for them this is the best thing that you can do for your relatives or general Muslims by making dua and istighfar for them with the exception of the parents that there is a different case and Allah knows best all right do we have any other question any comments any concern I really would like to encourage all of you brothers and sisters that you try to read at least minimum of one juz of Quran every day okay so by the end of Ramadan you'll be able to finish the whole Quran and in actuality that is not something only for Ramadan is supposed to be done at all the time we're supposed to finish one juz of the Quran okay but if we are lazy so at least we should try to make it in Ramadan so try to make time that you finish at least one juz okay let's see the questions that we have here say last year during Ramadan I didn't complete my Quran and they stopped on the eighth juz then after Ramadan I continue from the 15 juz should I completed the eighth juz also is no obligation in you from where to start or where to end or to do what you did or catch with what you did last year okay the bottom line is that whosoever read one letter from the Quran will be rewarded 10 blessings for each letter again we encourage all of you that you try to finish the Quran at least once a month if you could not do it once a month at least during Ramadan try to complete it and they try to make nothing to stop you of finishing the Quran if you are not going to finish it in Quran in Ramadan when are you going to finish it it is the month of the Quran this is the when the revelation started and came down so sh we should show our gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by try to finish the Quran during Ramadan inshallah Islam answer back the, is there any question from included that Prophet Isa in the level heaven where Prophet Adam was uh, I don't know I don't know what level he is in the Prophet Isa alayhi salam all right uh, so inshallah I can if you give me the verse and maybe can look and see what do you mean oh no 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 okay now I see what you're talking about Allah is saying in the method of Isa in the Allah he can mess can Adam khalaqahu min turab summa qala lahu kum fayakun 
If you continue in the verse, you will understand the similarity here. No, the similarity of Isa and Adam that Allah said to him, be and he became. That Allah created him from dirt and tell him, be and he became. So the same way he understands that Allah was able to create Adam from no father, no mother. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, be and he became. So the same thing Allah created Isa alayhi salam with no father and he said be and he became. This is a similarity. Okay? And Allah knows best. Okay, so now we, although I don't see Zawjit Abu Mu'min here, but we appreciate if Abu Mu'min can let her know. Oh, I think she's here. She's the admin. Let her know that we had one class for question and answer, so we fulfill her wish that she had request before. All right, I don't see any question anymore from Chat Islam or answer back. I appreciate your time, and please forgive me for the delay for today. I try to see. DT, yes, the question can be, about anything but Islam. Don't ask me how to cook uh, fasolia, as example, or okra, okay? Although I know how to cook, but i rather that we talk about Islam. So since uh, first time to see you, your name, I will uh, make a special uh, amendment that to wait for you to ask your question. A touching a patient, touching a patient, it doesn't break wudu. Touching a patient, even if you are a male and she female, or you female and she's a male, assuming this, okay, the touching the patient, it doesn't break the wudu, unless we're talking about naked hand to private parts or something like this, possibility. But touching, Obviously, six, it doesn't break the wudu. Hopefully, that this is answer your question, inshallah. Uh, DT, do you have a question before I go? I'm holding the class for you. A special welcoming for you. So, do you have any? Yeah? Yeah, this is you. Starlet T. Okay, I think everybody finished asking for today. Inshallah, look. You don't have to squeeze your mind. This okay. Inshallah, we're looking forward to see everybody again tomorrow. 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. If you are in the chat, Islam.com, or you are in uh, Islam Answer Back, or if you are, inshallah, one of the people who come to adlionline.com. Thank you again. Jazakumullah khairan. May Allah reward you all. Accept your good deed and your fasting. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. And Allah knows best. Uh, for the brothers and sisters who are sitting in the musallah,